Good morning. So, yeah, don't mind the crazy hair. I am getting ready for work. And I thought it's such a gorgeous morning and I feel really awesome. I would, while I'm getting ready for work, uh, hop on and do another live since I did a spontaneous live yesterday. Might as well keep it going. Um, so, yes, it is morning, and it's a gorgeous morning, and I know a lot of people, and I used to be one of them, guilty, um, are like, eh, morning, gross. Well, that is setting your intention for the day. The rest of the day, you're just gonna find more things to be like, bleh, out. It's kinda like that post I made last night about, you know, your mindset. Where's your mindset at? You know, if your mindset is in that ick state, you're just going to attract more things to feel ick about. But if you are um, in a mindset of abundance and joy and happiness, you're going to find more things to be happy about. You're going to find more things to be joyous about and grateful for. So one of the things that I like to do in the morning... Um, I've got the window open, I'm listening to the birds, um, it's not, it's finally starting to warm up and the sun is shining, oh my gosh. I'm kind of like, what is that big fiery thing in the sky? Because we haven't seen the sun in forever. So there's something to be grateful for, the sun is shining today. Um... I start my day off with gratitude, and I like to go outside and walk around barefoot in the dew. That really gets you grounded. I did that a little prematurely today because my boyfriend left his phone. I had to run after him and be like, hey, don't forget your phone. Because we share a car, and he's going to be taking me to work in a little bit. So he'd be able to get a hold of him if he's not here on time. He's usually really good about it, and sometimes he brings me coffee. Speaking of coffee, that's another way to set your intention for the day. <clears throat> coffee. So, I, when I get my coffee in the morning, um, I don't usually stir my coffee, but since I've been adding that collagen that I've uh, mentioned, um... I'm stirring it um, clockwise and I am speaking the intention to bring me joy and wake up all nice and you can't even really taste the collagen so that's cool I was worried my coffee was going to be ruined it's not ruined it is lovely still um, so yeah all about setting your intentions um, and you can set your intention by doing your makeup in the morning. I'm setting the intention of having a beautiful day. Because I'm making myself feel beautiful right now. Um, I always try to make sure that I'm going to go into my day feeling refreshed and centered and grounded. So, I just take some time in the morning to quiet down and really think about what I want to happen for the day and <clears throat> try to manifest that into my day. So like today, what I really want to happen is I want to be able to make somebody's day today. I like making lots of people's days, but if I can make one person's day extra special, then it's been a fantastic day. It doesn't have to be like a member or a customer that walks in the door. It can be a coworker. Um, you can even be yourself, really. Um, as long as you set a goal and you follow through with it, you've accomplished something. Another way to set the intention for the day is to find a few things to be grateful for. What are you, what are some things that you're grateful for? They can be small things if you find it difficult to um, find things to be grateful for. Like, you can be grateful for coffee and that's okay. 
you can be grateful for killer eyeliner. That's something you can be grateful for because sometimes it can be really hard to just get that line right. Good enough. Boop. Yeah, I don't think this is the first video I've done where I'm actually like doing my makeup. I usually like to do stuff while I'm on the video, that way, like, I don't get fidgety. I'm a fidgety person when I talk. Another thing you can be grateful for, um, you can say that you're grateful for things that haven't happened yet. So, like, say you're having some work drama or whatever, you could tell the universe that you are grateful for a wonderful work environment. And you keep telling the universe that. It can be a daily mantra. I'm grateful for a wonderful work environment. And eventually, that's what you're going to get. It's a wonderful work environment. Whether that be your teammates are, you know, uh, getting coming together more. Or, well, now they're not even... don't usually talk while I do my eyeliner, so that's, that's part of it. Boop-a-doop. But yeah, no. Whether you are getting a new job, your teammates get along better, and just tell the universe, I am grateful that I have a wonderful job that has good team players and that's what you're going to get. That's what the universe is going to give you. Because the universe um, gives you what you ask for. Another eyeliner. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. So that's something that's really cool that I enjoy. It's like... It's how I got this job that I love so much is... I kept telling the universe, I love my job. I love my job. I love my job. They're uneven. How do I fix that? That's the one thing I don't like about my eyeliner, guys, is one side can be perfect and the other side not so perfect. That's okay. I'm grateful for killer eyeliner. See? Just tell the universe. I'm grateful for killer eyeliner. I'm just gonna make this one thicker because the other one's thick. I tried liquid light li eyeliner for the first time in forever. One side really likes it, the other side. Eh. I don't need it longer, I just need it to like not be so lumpy looking. Curve. Hey, it curved. Okay, so now this side needs to be thicker. Thicker. Okay, well, this one's not cooperating with me either on the getting thicker front oh hey there we go I think whatever I'm grateful for awesome eyeliner hey you know what the shape is good now that that's what matters I wear glasses so it can hide that's what I tell myself yeah wear glasses it's fine Nobody really notices all that much anyway. So yeah, start your morning off with some gratitude. Tell the universe what you're grateful for, even if it's not something that you are experiencing yet, because that's putting it out there to the universe. Like, that's something that you want. And that also helps shift your mindset as well. When you start to tell yourself things that you're grateful for, that really helps your mind shift, shift from... That victimhood um, state of mind where it's 
well, you did this, or life is happening to me, I have no control over anything, versus, you know, even when th things um, don't go the way as planned, like, you didn't get the job, or you didn't get your promotion, you know, find something to be grateful for. Like, I recently applied for a promotion, and I did not get it. However, um, there were lots of things to be grateful for in that situation, even though I didn't get the job. Um, it was, you know, like, I got to meet the, the managers, you know, and I got to put my best foot forward. I got to, um, later, like two days later, no, a week later, gosh, my days are all running together. Last Wednesday, I mentioned in my live last night that I went to a, um, temperament personality training class um with a two-hour intermission and I got to sit in with a couple of the loan officers and shadow them and so um one of the reasons I didn't get the promotion was that I didn't have enough of that hands-on experience so those hiring managers got to see um uh, me pursuing more experience so it that was you know that was good that's something that came out of that that was good um you know and I got to be honest with myself as well like maybe I'm I, I'm actually not maybe I know I wasn't ready for it so going in and asking what are you looking for in this for this position you know personality wise yeah I got that but experience wise no not yet and that's okay to admit too that's a perfectly okay to thing to say um and when you're honest with yourself that that opens the door for a boatload of change um you know, I was not a positive, happy person. And I got real honest with myself and started shifting my mindset. Starting with the gratitude. It can be hard. It can be hard to find things that you're grateful for. Um, something that helped me in the beginning was um, writing it down. Find just three things to be grateful for a day and write it down. And then when you're having a bad day, you know, look back and see those things that you're grateful for. Remind yourself what you're grateful for. And, like, it can be simple things right at first. Because, um, like I said, it can be hard to find things that you're grateful for when you're living in a negative mindset. Um, so back when I was living in my negative mindset, not getting that promotion would have just why didn't I get it? I deserve that. Well, living in this mindset shift of the positive, the great gratitude and creator mindset, um, I can look at that and be like, okay, I can see why I didn't get that. Um, I can see why I didn't get that promotion and that's okay. It's okay that I didn't get that promotion. My hair looks so fun right now go to work like this what do you think go to work like this looks awesome right uh, coffee so my loves that is my challenge to you whenever you see this start to shift your mindset start finding things that you're grateful for write them down put them on little stickies on your mirror um, I, I just got us some chalk, little, little chalkboards at work, little chalkboards at work, um, to help with this mindset shift as well, um, where we can put our little mantras, um, mine says you have to look ahead to where you want to go, where am I placing my focus, um, and that's kind of, uh, I learned that when I was riding horses. You know, you have to look ahead. You have to look where you want to go. 
and you'll end up there. If you're looking on the to the ground, that's where you're going to end up. But if you're looking around the bend, like I want to go around that corner, you look to that corner and that's where you're going to go. Um, so yeah, that's my challenge for you today. Where do you want to go? What are you grateful for? And I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.